In this video, we'll take this photograph and turn it into a two-tone, uh, one or two color image for use in design space and to cut out of a material such as vinyl to apply to an object such as a glass block. A lot of people like to use stencilgram.com to do these conversions. These online converters do work fairly well. However, there are some limitations and it can be difficult to weed and cut some of these images. And so I've uploaded the image here so I can show you and you can adjust the balance to get more or less detail into the image. However, if you zoom in on the image, you'll see that there are a lot of little tiny cutouts and, and dots and pixels and things that are going to be really hard to weed and will cause a lot of uh, problems when you go to cut it. It will, you know, kind of make your blade go really nuts on your Cricut Explorer. So I'm going to show you how to get around this and how to trace this image in Inkscape to get a much cleaner and more usable image to apply using a uh, material such as vinyl. One of the first things I'm going to do is I've already used Photoshop to remove the background from the image. That's going to eliminate a lot of the uh, what I call noise in the image and really give us what we want to trace uh, to begin with. So I do have another video on, on several ways you can remove backgrounds and I'll put a link to that video on the screen now so you could click that and watch it later and see how I do that. And so now I'll drag and drop the image into Inkscape and I'll choose Embed. You could also go to File and Open and open the file normally as well. I'll hold the Control key and adjust the image down just a little so that it is uh, easier to work with. And by holding the Control key when I adjust it, it maintains its width and height proportions. So with the image selected, and so I can see the selection areas on the sides and corners, I'll go to Path, Trace Bitmap. So with the Trace Bitmap function, we're going to set it to Trace Grays. We're going to use smooth, which is going to eliminate a lot of those little tiny pixels and cutouts I showed you earlier. And then we'll stack the scans and remove background. And we click update and we can get a preview of our image. And when I hit OK, it should take a few seconds on an image like this. And it will go to stop and then back to OK again. And now we can close this as we no longer need that box. And we'll drag our traced image to the side and we can delete our original image. Now with the image selected we can go to Object, Ungroup, and we can begin to drag apart the various layers of our image. As you can see I have five different pieces and so uh, we definitely cannot use this one. Uh, this one isn't really usable. So we're left to choose between these three. I really don't like that one very well. And I think this one it probably has the best detail and is closest to the image that I had. So I'll get rid of that one. Now if I wanted more to choose from, I could increase the number of scans to maybe 8 or 10. And it may have given me a little bit more uh, to choose from there. But I, I like this one and I'm going to go with that one. And so I'll click on it and I'm going to hit the number 3 key on my keyboard to zoom in so that I have a nice view. And as you can see, I don't have near as many of those little tiny pixels and cutouts, but I do have some. So I'll, with the image selected, I'll change this to black so it's a little bit easier to work with and see. And I'll go to my node editor. And as you can see, there are a ton of little tiny nodes. And so using my plus and minus key on my keyboard, I'll zoom in. And I'll begin to highlight and just delete a lot of these little tiny cutouts and get rid of these nodes. Because they are going to be very difficult to weed. They're pretty much useless. And they're just going to cause you some problems in the long run when you do cut the image. And you notice I get rid of ones that are black specks, as well as we can get rid of ones that are seemingly little cutout circles. And what I'm looking for is to get just a nice clean image that's a contrasted image of black and white without all these little tiny highlights that are going to cause problems for us. And now you see, after I've gone through and deleted and removed all these little cutouts and dots and made some minor adjustments, that my image is a lot cleaner 
and a lot smoother. It's not going to have near the problem. Here's another one I may want to get rid of. It just looks kind of small to me. And if I pull up the original image and put it beside it, you'll see that it's pretty close representation. I've got pretty good detail around the, the mouth and the nose and the eyes and then uh, the hair uh, with the uh, kind of highlighted areas there around the top. And uh, overall, I think that would work very well with uh, cutting it out of vinyl or another material. So we'll go save this. We'll save this as a plain SVG. And now we can upload that image into Design Space using a vector upload. And we can insert that into our canvas and create a project. And if we cut that out, it will cut as expected. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.